Assalamualaikum and a very good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel kajidataonline.com. If you are new to my channel, please consider to subscribe um, and follow me towards the end of this video. Alright, so as you know, uh, this evening I would like to explain about the autoregressive model. So autoregressive stands for um, a forecasting model that is very useful for you to predict what happened uh, tomorrow based on the data today or what happened today is actually based on what happened yesterday so that is the idea of this uh, particular exercise all right so i got the covid 19 data set Selamat datang ke channel saya kerja data online please consider to subscribe like and share all our videos we provide a very comprehensive online courses free of charge nonton semua video kami sehingga akhir pembelajaran secara berkelut in the link description below so i got the two march until the fourth april so uh, uh, my idea is actually i want to predict what happened tomorrow and the day after tomorrow until uh, the end of mco so we can tabulate the graph and further understand the behavior of the data set and then uh, before we do that let me explain a little bit about the uh, simple linear regression so to use this um, autoregressive models you have to understand about the uh, simple linear regression okay in simple linear regression uh, is being divided into three important component the first one we call it as a descriptive component so this descriptive component contain uh, the r value so the r value means that the multiple uh, correlation coefficient multiple uh, correlation coefficient and then uh, we got another one inside the descriptive part of the linear regression we call it as a um, r square so r square is actually um, a very a very interesting and uh, square so r square is one of the um, terminology or useful linear regression component to know how many um, variants uh, of the x is already explained uh, towards predicting the y okay so that is the r square and then another one will be um, i'm so sorry because r square because maybe the computer are trying to understand it uh, okay so the third one um, under the descriptive component we call it as the um, predicted equation okay so this is the very important component that we are going to do today because we want to predict and produce this kind of equation okay so to do that the first of all you have the data here and then you have to select all of the data please don't forget to hold the shift button and then uh, copy it and then paste it down here not up here not um, on the fourth march but please paste it under the uh, third March. So basically what we are trying to do actually we are trying to uh, create a staggered you know what happened today is actually being predicted by tomorrow sorry what happened today is actually based on what happened yesterday what happened tomorrow is actually what happened today so this is how you want to arrange your data so we can have multiple arrangement t minus 2 and then we can have a t minus 3 so this is the the stages of our autoregressive model so in this uh, exercise i'm just going to make it simplified i'm just going to um, simulate that what happened uh, today is actually based on what happened yesterday All right so this is our dv the case is our dv and the t minus 1 is our iv or our factor so um, to proceed with the analysis you have to use the regression um analysis uh, component that already being um, installed or available under the excel add-in so to request the add-in you can just go to the add-in here and then you can request for the excel add-in sorry data sorry tools um excel add-in if you are using the macintosh you can click over there you can have the analysis tool back inside my um mac i already installed this one so you can uh, click this data analysis and search for regression so this is the regression and then they will ask you what kind of input y and what kind of input x that should be selected so just go into this radio button click this red um, the red 
indicator and then select accordingly until uh, for April's and then uh, similarly for the output X is actually from this date until uh, 4th April also and then um, you can request for confident levels and then for the output range um, I prefer to put it nearby so that we can uh, straight away understand about the output and I'm giving you some uh, quick interpretations about all the uh, data that already been produced by this analysis after that you click OK and then the um, the Microsoft Excel are going to give you this kind of data so you can have here multiple R is actually 0 0.779 the R square is indicate um, around 61% or 60.7% of the variance explained of the X uh, towards predicting the Y um, I would say that it is not very satisfactory or very accurate however it still can can be used um, and then we are going to uh, form our predicted equations but before that we can have a look on our ANOVA tables to see whether the model is fit or not so based on the significant level is indicated that the value of F uh, sorry, value of P is actually less than alpha and therefore we reject the hypothesis and we are going to conclude there is a significant model fit of the um, linear regression between what happened today uh, based on what we predict yesterday. Uh, what happened today is actually based on what we uh, hypothesized happening uh, yesterday. So we have the intercept and also the slope um, hypothesis here. So we can see the x variable 1 is actually our t minus 1. Uh, it's indicate that the value of the P is actually less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude there is a significant um, predictors of the T minus 1. So that means the data from the yesterday is actually something to do uh, with the data happening today. So we are going to make a prediction now. So the equation will be Y is equal to 27.961925. So actually, I'm just copying the data from the coefficient here. And then uh, plus this value, 0 0.764328. Uh, and then we put X there, or we can put T minus 1. We can just put here T minus 1 uh, to indicate that this is the X. And then uh, this is our equation. We got the intercept here, and then we got the slope and also uh, the coefficient of the slope. So the next uh, thing that you uh, probably want to use is actually you extract and predict what happened tomorrow. So to do that, to make your life simplify, I'm just going to copy this one. Uh, just to indicate some sort of uh, constant data here and then we can uh, further use this uh, equation to generate our next data okay you can just proceed with the equal sign over there and then you can just follow the equation here all right indicate that one and please do not forget to put the dollar sign there so the dollar sign is very important to keep those uh, cells and column in place all right plus uh, this value this value also please do not forget to put the dollar sign so that um, it is stay there in our place okay dollar sign here dollar sign over there uh, times um, the previous data so in this uh, thing in this case i'm going to predict oh sorry i'm going to predict what happened actually based on the previous data which is the um, which is today data which is 4th April so I'm going to make the bracket over there and then close the bracket over there so you can have a look oh, if you cannot see never mind you can download this uh, uh, spreadsheet so that you can further use it for your own uh, study so this is our data that already been produced by the Microsoft Excel so you can drag it through until 14 uh, April 2020 so we can uh, got uh, some glimpse idea about the um, hypothesized values what happened in the next uh, few days um, we expect to have uh, the data around this uh, this value okay so the interesting part is actually um, perhaps you want to know what happened um, after this so you can just 
So I hope, ladies and gentlemen, you can learn about the autoregressive uh, models. It's very useful in the forecasting technique because the foundations of the AR or autoregressive is a part of the forecasting model. Uh, we call it as an ARIMA model, which is I'm going to explain it in the, an, another video. Uh, whereby we can use a complex model uh, like uh, autoregressive integrated moving average that already been uh, spoke with you before in my first video. So hopefully this um, tutorial are giving you some sort of idea how you can generate this uh, equation and then predict what happened in the tomorrow or the day after tomorrow data based on what you have uh, previously. Okay, I hope it is very helpful and useful for you and see you again for the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.